Hi, welcome back to uh, the restoration of my uh, 1986 flat nose Saab 16S Turbo or SPG, it's the aero kit one. Uh, I've uh, started to strip the front end, uh, taken the indicators out. First off, uh, there's th uh, two, I think six mil uh, bolts on the side and one down here on the front that hook that are attaches to the headlight uh quite a fiddly job we got large hands sausage fingers that type of thing uh headlight is held in by the two the two screws and it's on a pin here these are the obviously the, the headlight motors uh problem i'm trying to get to is this lovely stuff down here which is the front frame, which is up basically all gone, including, as we said, the, the side, the hole of the underneath down here, which of, uh, so it's definitely looking like a front, a front end. Uh, that chassis beam there, the oil cooler box has gone. So, uh, quite a big strip down, really. Uh, the bumper is held on here, here and here by two, on this one it's two 8mm Allen keys and they're very tight so I just put a normal Allen key with a bit of a bar and then a load of uh, penetrating fluid and they came out quite easily and the whole of the bumper comes straight off. The grille is held on by the three fixings at the top, that, that's one of the first things that you take off. Uh, She's obviously, in the previous video, she's gone down here, which is part of the wheel arch, but majority of it is surface rust. I mean, the, the, the wings are absolutely solid, which is, which is great. Uh, the bonnet's gone a bit under the lip here, which I'll tackle, because it's gonna have to be resprayed anyway. Uh, it's, uh, obviously it's great. Uh, the, the code is, uh, I think it's it's uh, it's here on the boot rail. I'll show you the boot in a minute. Oduardo Grey, so one five eight B, and trim colour thirty three, which is a grey leather. Uh, I've been inside, taken the back seats out. Slight. I've not I've not treated. I'll, I'll treat this and then leave it because I'm going to spray the whole hold of that panel but once we get the kit off door seals have gone uh, inside uh, taking the back seat out that is on on the back on the back on the actual seat part there's four bolts and, and two u clamps so that comes off if you want to take the whole of the uh, seat mechanism out there's two uh, shaft bolts there with a spring washer on they try and get it close up there they clip off and then all of this rail will come out but looking at her i mean I've, I've, i did do a bit it's just surface rust which i've treated there was a bit in that corner and there's a bit i haven't treated yet in this corner but uh, looking at her she's absolutely she's solid she's uh which is really good news I said that the driver's door's in a bit of a state at the bottom, but again, not too much. Uh, the headlining's gone, as is dead common on these SARS, but uh, SAR bits do the uh, headlining kit. It's a bit of a pain without having the electric sunroof, but I think you've got the sunroof mechanism out, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, that's about it for the inside, because everything's uh, forward wise is, is fine. It's, I noticed a little bit of rust down here on the kit plate, but we'll get to we'll get to that. The door cards I've I've, I've wetted of and, and put them underweight and flatted them out. Uh, I've uh, put new uh, glued spray glued new material the old, the old material back on, so they put, they come out quite fine. Boot area. Uh, weird thing is with my sub is both of the uh, hydraulic pistons 
the mounting pins are both gone. So unfortunately, I'm having to hold it up with a piece of wood, which isn't the safest thing. So, and if you know the weight of these tailgates, they are, it'd be like a guillotine. So if I don't make another video, you know that's probably come down on my head and chopped it off. Uh, boot wise, again, it's all mainly bits of surface rust here, there and everywhere. I haven't started it yet. So obviously I'll have to get down into the fuel pump. It's gone a bit down here, but doesn't look to me too bad. It's getting a bit crumbly, might need a patch on that. The other side, similar, but not as bad. This is where the, uh, the jack is held. And it, it was held on two brackets, which is obviously rusted, but it's not, it's not gone through. Those are, those are just rust marks. I haven't cleaned this up, obviously. Those are rust marks where the spare wheel has been. That uh, support beam looks in worse condition, but I'll get that uh, shot blasted like I will do with the with the uh, the radiator frame. I think that, that come and top beam that comes out in one uh, piece. So what what I would suggest back back into Septo's yard. There's there's the uh, space saver wheel which is still full of air, never been used. Uh, what, what I've noticed is all your small components are so expensive and rare. What I've been using is a flow liner, which I use for the, to uh, de-rust my mini tank. Fabulous stuff. Warm water, uh, a few granules of the flow liner and uh pop all your fixings in this is this was rusty this that's the little key from it's the manual operation for the electric sunroof if it fails i mean it comes out fantastic uh so and these these are the clips for the headlights those clips uh from scandix uh it's a hell the hella units Obviously, it's the, uh, the mine's the mine's the flat nose, so so the the flat front headlights. Those are three euro sixty each for a clip. Apparently, they're used on Volvo, so I'll uh, I'll get those etch primed when in a day or two and uh, coated with some uh, metal. Say so all my little all your little screws, your pot, your your uh, torques, your your indicator screws I've put in this to clean them up and I'll I'd like to get them some sort of galvanized stuff but I'll as long as I protect them say they, they're so hard to find these these fixings for Saabs and expensive so for now uh, just a quick update back into step Joe's yard uh, the boot liner which I explained on one of my shorts that was bent like a banana I've got that underway and it's come out fabulous it's uh, wet in the back with a spray gun Say so I've got, I've just got a, a, a few blocks on it for the time being to straighten it out. But again, saved rare part, fantastic, dead shop with that one. So for now, that's about it. Not done anything on the mini as yet. You see, it's still under the uh, cover. I've just got to put the grill on and the uh, the spot rail and sort out some door cards uh, or. Put, fit the door cards and the back seats and just generally carpets tidy up so for now that's about it but i can't recommend this flow liner i presume there's other these other uh, brands out there but i've leave it overnight with a few granules in warm water and it strips everything back it's fabulous stuff right that's it for now enjoy <laughs>